Hey everyone, I'm Trent with PVC Bendit, and in this video, we'll be going over how we can bend 2 inch PVC pipe using our 9B PVC Bendit tool, as well as fiberglass pipe insulation, a digital thermometer, a timer, and some heat resistant gloves to protect our hands. To begin, simply make sure that you have all your supplies ready to go by laying out the insulation alongside the PVC and placing the digital thermometer on the other end from where the Bendit is inserted. Before placing the Bendit inside the PVC, I like to use a clamp to hold it in place. This step is entirely optional, but I personally find that it is easier to remove the PVC from the Bendit after it has been heated if it is clamped to your workspace. If you don't have a clamp to use, no worries. You can use an object that is heavy enough to hold the Bendit while removing the PVC or have someone to help you hold the end before removal. Now, go ahead and insert the Bendit inside your PVC. As I mentioned earlier, we are using the 9B PVC Bendit model. This means that the hot surface of conduit is 9 feet in length, which is the right size for this PVC. Make sure that the red on the conduit is inside the pipe so the entire pipe wall can become hot. The blue on the conduit is safe to touch, making it easy to adjust the Bendit. Let's get that fiberglass insulation on that pipe. Always remember to use those gloves when working with the insulation as it can irritate your hands. It also helps to grip the PVC while sliding the insulation on to ensure a proper fit because it gets a little static at times. Having the entire PVC insulated means the entirety of the pipe wall will heat evenly, making the execution of the bend very simple. If parts of the fiberglass insulation extend past the end of the PVC, feel free to cut the remaining off, but don't get rid of it. You can also use shorter pieces of insulation to stay on the pipe while it is being bent. That method can be used for more difficult bends that take a little more time and the insulation keeps the PVC hot longer. Shorter pieces will allow for more flexible PVC. We are all set up and ready to heat. Plug the Bendit into your 2000VA Variac transformer and set the voltage for no higher than 110. Then plug your Variac into an outlet, flip on the switch, and check to see if the meter matches the voltage you set it for. I'm setting the timer for 7 minutes, but the PVC will take about 10 to thoroughly heat. We'll go over why in just a bit. Turn on your digital thermometer, either for Fahrenheit or for Celsius, and place it inside the PVC. This is how we will check to see if the Bendit is operating properly to match the level of voltage. As the PVC is heating, remember to rotate it every two minutes or so. Doing this will prevent any overheating and scorching of the pipe from the inside out. Since we are working with 2 inch PVC pipe, I recommend rotating it about 90 degrees each time and then turning the insulation so that the slits are facing upward. It makes it easier to reach inside every time you go to rotate the pipe. Check your thermometer after doing this too. Sometimes the PVC may produce a small amount of smoke, but it is nothing to worry about. If the smoke becomes excessive, turn off the Variac, let everything cool for a few minutes, and try again with a lower voltage. More rotating. After 5 minutes, you will start to notice how pliable the pipe wall becomes. That is a good thing because it means the Bendit is operating normally and the insulation is doing its job. I even plugged one end of the pipe with a shop rag to keep more heat inside. Doing this is encouraged for heating larger diameter PVC. Check out our last video to see how we do it. Thank you. 
Remember how I said to set the timer for 7 minutes even though it takes longer to heat? That is so, when the timer goes off, we can prep the PVC for the bend by conclusively checking the pipe wall for consistent flexibility and making sure we have any necessary tools required for the bend. I previously bent the same size PVC to get an idea of how I wanted the next one to look so they would match by using the width of the table shown here. The pipe ended up cooling down with no kinks, no distortions, and an overall sinuous arc. Having it flat on the ground really helped with preventing the pipe from kinking and becoming disproportionate. After turning off your Variac, remove that noodle-like PVC from the insulation and bend it. I went ahead and placed it on the ground so I could simply line up each end with the legs of the table. The pipe wall was so flexible and so warm that the PVC pretty much did the work for me. All I had to do was push out both sides of the pipe to keep the bend as wide as I could while maintaining the desired width. It took a couple of times, but it worked. I also wanted the ends to be level with each other so I could have the pipe stand up on its own. To do this, I placed a shorter piece of PVC on the ground and pushed each end of the curved PVC onto it. The same thing can be done with a yardstick, an angle iron, or perhaps another table. As long as the object is straight and heavy enough, it will work. Doing this took a couple of times as well, but I was able to have the pipe flush on each end without it moving. Once you have everything set where they need to be, let the PVC cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and go take a break because you deserve it. All that rotating is worth a cup of coffee, I think. Let's take a closer look. We have the pipe bent into a proportionate arc set at the desired width between the legs of the table and a spare piece of PVC used as a reference to level out both ends. It is also important to keep the bend it on the fiberglass insulation to keep it from burning through your workspace. Even after turning the Variac off, they remain hot for quite some time. Again, remember to leave the PVC to cool in the bend that you put it in. There we have it. After the PVC cools for the allotted time, we are left with a solid, outstanding result of science and art combined. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase your own PVC Bendit, please visit us at www.pvcbendit.com or call us at 719-645-7156.